let's get this party rolling. Uh, let's have you do this uh, real well, quick. Well, actually, what I yeah. what I uh, yeah. wanted to do first is, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I don't know if you if you already went there. Yeah. Is to go to the the main uh, roundabout. Okay. Kaiser Karelplein. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the place of Charles Charlemagne. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah, Charlemagne. Yeah. Charlemagne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because I don't think you you were there uh, okay. with uh, with just okay. with uh, George before, okay. and it's uh, you know it's it's a bi for cyclists it's a bi-directional right. uh, cycle path right. all around the roundabout. Nice. And uh, well, that, that's really nice to see how right. they how they fix that. And yeah, they yeah. are the thing is they are still fixing, fixing. things. I mean, it's yeah. not perfect, and that's yeah. really one. Well, that's the one of the things I love about the way the Dutch go about transportation is it's yeah, never it's, perfect, it's never no, done, exactly. it's always working on it. And if you do get it, quote unquote, right, it just brings more people, and then you may have exactly. to expand it or yeah, change exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah. Uh, that's how it works. Hey, everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Zimmerman, and I am here with Jos. Jos, nice introduce you. Yes, yes. <laughs> introduce yourself, Jos. Yay! Yeah. Well, welcome here, uh, John. Yeah. Great to see you again. And uh, well, I was on, on your show before, and yes. uh, I really liked that. And uh, well, here we are at the uh, Nijmegen Central Station. And I want to show you around a little bit in Nijmegen, mm -hmm. some, some other places than we visited last time, but also some same places, but that places have changed quite a bit. Yeah. Tell everybody about the Cargo Bike Festival and when it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, I almost yeah. forgot about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, the organizer of the International Cargo Bike Festival. Mm -hmm. And this year that will take place in, uh, in Utrecht, mm -hmm. at the Jaarbeurs in Utrecht, which is right next to the central station and uh, also right next to the biggest bike parking facility that uh, in the world actually so uh, people that visit can also visit those things and other nice things in Utrecht on, uh, on, on that uh, and you've and got people coming in from all over the world yeah right yeah people yeah. Uh, from all over the world will be there yeah. from from uh, well uh, all parts of Europe of course yeah. but uh, but also from from Africa from yeah. from North and um, South America from the Far East from the Middle East yeah. it's really really Really, an international cargo bike festival. <laughs> How many <laughs> years have you done the uh, cargo bike festival? Um, well, the first, um, let's say, cargo bike gathering mm -hmm. we called it the Bakfietstreffen was in 2012. Wow! Here yeah. in Nijmegen. Yeah. So yeah, we've been doing it quite, uh, yeah. quite some years. But at that time, of course, it was a very small, sure, sure. just very. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, actually, it, we thought to be very local, but it was already people from all over the Netherlands came. Uh, yeah. And that was nice. And because it was nice, we decided to do it again uh, the year after that. And after that, and after that, until now. Yeah. Of course, we had a little bit of a, a pause when uh, the COVID. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. And, That's uh, to be expected. Yeah. 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 So you cannot do yeah. that. Yeah. But it's, uh, yeah, it's really something special. <laughs> and well, and what, the, yeah. what, what is also yeah. very yeah. nice is to see that, uh, I mean, we have the International Cargo Bike Festival. Yeah. But what you see now is that they'll have a Cargo Bike Festival in London. They right. have a Cargo Bike yes. Festival in, in Lyon, in France. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, next week is Eurobike at, uh, in, uh, in Frankfurt. And there will be a large uh, Cargo Bike uh, area there as well. Yeah. So that, that, that's really nice to see that it's really spreading and, 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 and going all around and uh, really taking up. And uh, Well, we declared the, the, the 20s of this century right. as the, the decade of the cargo bike. Right. So we are halfway now. And I mean, for me, it, it doesn't go fast enough. But when you right. see how it was five years ago, where we are now, yeah. that's, that, that's really amazing. And I'm, I'm really excited about what we'll see the next five years because yeah. we can make really big, big, Improvements, I think. All right. Well, let's yeah, go. Really, let's go yeah, see yeah. Nijmegen. Okay. Right, let's, let's do, do it. it. You, you're not yeah. going to your bike, right? Uh, yeah. When is it? Uh, next week. Oh, it's um, next week. Wednesday to Sunday, I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm already got booked plans booked. For... Underneath here, yeah. there is a big uh, car parking as well. Uh, okay. And so they changed uh, the whole thing here and. Uh, I think that that's a really good point you're bringing up is that up here we have this delightful space uh, that doesn't have car parking, but you've got to put the car somewhere, and so, yeah, yeah. so they put them uh, underground. There are two uh, layers of, yeah. I think, 670 places for cars. Yeah. And, uh, well, it's, it's and close to the station and it's close to the city center. Right. So it has yeah. a double function of, uh, right. of parking. And actually, when they started building it, they were planning to have bike parking there as well. Okay. 
but then uh, for some reason they uh, I don't remember anymore why yeah uh, maybe what we should stop here for a little bit. So, so in other words, what you're saying, they didn't get it quite perfect. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Well, I think the thing was that they wanted to have uh, bicycles and cars mixed in, a, in, a, in an underground garage. That right. it would be kind of, uh, right. kind of but it's kind of weird because, I mean, it's mixed everywhere. And in a garage, even the speed is much lower. So it, for, for, for safety reasons, there shouldn't be yeah. a, a, a reason to do that. But uh, Is there any bicycle parking garage at the, the main station? Or oh, is yes, it just yes, sure. Okay, there yeah, it is. Yeah, no, no. We, we, yeah. Didn't we go there last time? We might have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's a big... Uh, well, next to this, the station, oh, we, we just passed by. I mean, yeah, we yeah. didn't even yeah, notice didn't it, even but think about there it, is yeah. two layers of, okay. uh, I think, three and a half thousand uh, places. Okay. And then, uh, while well, we pass there uh, okay. later, okay. Uh, there is another four and a half thousand uh, okay. places. So, uh, okay. yeah, sure. No, right. there's no yeah. Dutch train station without bike parking. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I thought that was like a rule or something. <laughs> okay, so we're at this massive, massive uh, roundabout here. Is yeah. this what you were talking about earlier? Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, well, it's quite a, uh, a lot of uh, car drivers think it's, it's a very messy, chaotic, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, roundabout because it has no uh, marks mm -hmm. on the usually you have separated uh, lanes mm -hmm. and the thing is that uh, here the usually you have the priority on the roundabout for the mm -hmm. cars but this this uh, roundabout has priority from the cars that come from the right so it's it's kind of a little bit different and uh, so you have to change but of course where we want to talk about is yeah. about the bike lane yeah and some some quite some years ago they uh, I think it's over 10 years already uh, they decided to um, well as you know cyclists are kind of they just cycle the way they want to anarchist in in, in, in traffic and there was already a uh, um, um, a lot of cyclists cycled um, against uh, the flow let's say right right because it's, it's a big roundabout yeah and when it's this so big having bi-directional is kind of a yeah so they yeah. decided to to legalize the bi-directional that was already in practice right and um, bit by bit and um, also they adjusted the, the traffic lights for that and uh, well the idea is actually that when you are on a bike and you have green here that it that it goes green, green, green all around. That doesn't work always, but, right, right. but more or less than you have. Uh, and then at certain places where uh, we can see that later on, where uh, a lot of people make use of that bi-directional part, mm -hmm. it's, it's also ad adjusted in the, in, the, in the cycle path that goes farther into uh, the other roads. So that's, uh, yeah. that's yeah. very nice. And I want to point out too. I mean, we've we've got some folks oh, uh, yeah. cycling by on a van ram, which is one of those wonderful bikes that, yeah, that yeah, we've talked great. about before, of you know normalizing activity for older adults and for people who have uh, challenges. The the van ram you know gives them the ability to to possibly ride by themselves or ride with another person, with, like this case. Them. And also because of the, the now the bike lanes are getting wider yes. because of, of more use, it, it also makes easier those yeah. kind of uh, wider uh, vehicles. So yeah. ride up bicycles. Yeah, they yeah. are. Uh, yeah, so, uh, that was brilliant. Well, we yeah. call it du du duo bikes. Duo right, right. bikes. I don't yeah. know how you would uh, say it, in there, but it's uh, or. Uh, Side by side, right, side right. by side bike. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's really fun to uh, see fun. that. And they also have them for four people. So you have right. one one uh, person and then three people that are not able to cycle by themselves. Right. And uh, of course that that's well these kind of cycle paths make that possible. Yeah. Right. I yeah. love it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so let's, let's uh, let let make a, a round and then we go back to the station and uh, sounds uh, good. The, uh, to the other side of the river. Here we go. Great. I, I'm always used to. Uh, uh, I, I once a week I ride with a uh, with a young woman who is um, mentally. Um, she, she cannot ride. She she rides by herself on a bike, but she's not. Uh, Let's say she has the 
the mental ability of a six-year-old. Oh, okay. So uh, she cycles, but she's not uh, traffic safe, let's say. Right, yeah. And uh, so I'm always used to, to, yeah. to cycle on your side because, yeah, yeah. like, as a protection. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> we go that way. Around, around, about, yeah. around, around, around. Yeah, that green right there. And for instance, here you can see very well that it, that this cycle path is adapted as well for people yeah. that come into uh, from the other direction. Right. Which is a bit. Which, and what's very nice yeah. here yeah. to put up this 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 white line. That, that's also one of those fun things that when you haven't seen it, it's. Uh, yeah. But this line, yeah. before when this line wasn't here, mm -hmm. uh, cyclists would 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 crowd up here. Right and people couldn't go that way right. because right. it was all crowded. Yeah. And then uh, some students, they thought, well, maybe that's an, uh, a, a solution. Mm -hmm. And they first just put some, you know, with tape. Mm -hmm. And it simply worked. People stay on this side of the, li of the line. Right. So you can, you know, people that go that way, right. they just can pass. Yeah, yeah. And it is, there are these really simple... It's a simple strategy. It's, yeah. it's, it's uh, yeah. and when it's, once it's there, it's very logical and, and, you know, people don't even think about it that very different uh, before. Yeah. And, uh, no, they, they, they used it in, in several other parts as well. Yeah. I think maybe we could also go, there, there is a, uh, a municipal uh, bike uh, parking over there. Mm -hmm. And some years ago, they also installed some uh, places for um, tricycles and cargo bikes oh, to park there. Yeah. So maybe that's just nice to see. You see now we have green all uh, all around. Right. <laughs> we stop here at the right. Okay. Hi. So this is an open air mm -hmm. parking, of course. And uh, hi. hi. <laughs> and uh, there's always somebody here. Right. So it got it's, it. It's it got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah got yeah. it. So yeah. I, a, sometimes a I just can't. I just yeah, yeah. can't find the words. Yeah, yeah. And uh, well, then you have here, uh, especially for mopeds, yep. separated and, uh, and the cargo bikes. And yeah. uh, well, actually, you know, we we uh, I, I talked to the municipality several times that there is a lag on cargo bike uh, parking right. and uh, at a certain point they install these. And very I simple too, I mean it yeah, doesn't it's, take it's, much. Uh, it doesn't take uh, it's that much. Just, it's just some, uh, some spots just like you would with an automobile and then when you have that secure parking with a, a guard here, you know, somebody who's checking people yeah, in and yeah. making sure there's that sense of security that is yeah, there. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. The only thing is that, you know, you see here the the parking uh, sign, yeah. and I think it should also be on the other side because right. now only people that have been here once know yeah. that there is a, a, a cargo bike parking. Good point. Yeah. And uh, but somehow that's really difficult to get that. <laughs> <laughs> so like, like we said before, you know, it's never perfect. It's, it's, never it's perfect. there. Yeah. It's good, yeah. but yeah. there are always some things yeah. that you want to change yeah. and. Uh, to have extra, but uh, yeah. but it's already uh, looks like a good case for tactical urbanism. A little uh, get a sign maker. Uh, yeah, and, uh, just put you put know the same the side, side put it on the <laughs> other side, so people that pass they think, yeah. hey, there is a cargo bike park. Yeah. And it's nice, a little bit of cover here too. So yeah, yeah. When when you day, when a rainy you know. day, you. All right. Let's see if we can get that one. Continuing our way around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's always, I don't know, it's, uh, it, sometimes it's, uh, well, well, you know, you, you've been here more often, but sometimes it's really kind of strange to make things that are normal for us to make them interesting or that they might be interesting for people like you. <laughs> In general, the, the rule of thumb is, is that uh, the things that, that, that you just find normal are really extraordinary for the <laughs> yeah, rest yeah. Of, the, of the world. So, yeah, yeah. And for uh, many of my Dutch audience, they're, they're fascinated that we're fascinated with right. the stuff that they find yeah, yeah. normal. <laughs>
But it's always, you know, it's always good to see, like here, that, that there are a lot of cars and that in, yeah. in many situations the cars is, is all, all, are also very dominant still. And, right. uh, yeah. and, and sometimes I think we see too many, you know, almost perfect uh, situations, uh, but that are not. Again, we can see the yeah, car the parking entrance. going yeah. down in, right here. And then we have our it's, nice it's the theater. In, uh, in a few weeks, we'll have the four day march uh, of, uh, of Nijmegen. That's right, yes. Uh, you yeah. know about that? I do. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fabulous uh, event. event. Uh, yeah, why yeah. Don't you, why don't you explain a little bit about the uh, event for folks? Well, you know, know it's, it's, uh, it's more than 100 years that uh, four days people march like 50 kilometers a day. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that there is there are festivities in the city right. all around, and also this this uh, this avenue is is all full of uh, they they call it the the the, the Ramblas of Nijmegen, like in Barcelona, right. you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. There are a lot of things uh, yeah. going on then. And we're going past the central station, the central station once station again. again. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, oh, I also have to show you something that I forgot last time. Mm -hmm. Here is the. Uh, uh, a, um, a theater hall as well for uh, for musical uh, for, for for concerts a, co oh, wow. a concert hall okay. with uh, with student uh, studios okay. on top of it okay. and uh, we, we'll stop there for a little bit as well. Okay. Have to watch out for <laughs> all the all the bikes here. So we go here. And this is something uh, uh, that I uh, forgot to point out. When you see here, drive forward only, mm -hmm. is when when trucks come here with all the you know all the equipment of all the bands that play here and everything. Right. They're really large trucks. Right, right, right. But they made a uh, a big spinning uh, circle inside the building when oh, the truck that's the, right. the, the truck enters with. The yeah. head first, yeah. but comes out head first as well. Right, right. So you never have big trucks that, that have right. to pass the cycle path yeah. when they're going back. Right. And uh, you, you should so, have. So we're going to go do it? We'll test it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I, I haven't prepared that one. But uh, you'll have to check out on that. There are nice, there are nice videos, videos of that. It, and yeah. when you see that, it's. I think, wow, it's quite amazing, you know. They are, I think it really brings up a, a good point, though, because the point is, is that uh, just because this is an event venue and these large trucks exist, they shouldn't necessarily impose upon the fact that we have a busy cycle track and mm. pedestrian realm here. And so you've, the design, the ingenuity have found a solution. A solution yeah. that's... Uh, yeah. And you wouldn't ex you wouldn't expect it. I mean, when you yeah. see the building, yeah. that even a truck drives in is already quite amazing. But right. then that it spins just like that, uh, and it saves a lot of space inside. It saves a lot of space inside. It saves a tremendous amount of danger and hazard. Yeah, yeah, because exactly. it's it's not a truck that's blocking the space, and it's not a truck that's backing out. No. when it needs to leave or backing in for that matter because it sometimes that's exactly the, the that, that way they, they do, do that it. as yeah. well so yeah. Uh, yeah. oh that's really a nice uh, yeah. feature i love it it's a good <laughs> feature all right <laughs> well the 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 um, bike parking mm -hmm. the, this which which belongs actually to the center so is, is right here next door so yes. we'll uh, we'll pop in there as well so we go in here Well, actually, I do think we did, but but anyway, we uh, we can have a, a fast look, and uh, you, can, you can see that are 832 spots open. Hello. Very uh, well, you know, it's a bike parking like you have seen and by by uh, many already <laughs> now. Yeah. See also the indication of free spots in every row that there is. Cargo bike. Yeah. Well, they have they have spots for bigger bikes with mm -hmm. with crates or baskets or cargo bikes. 
but usually they are quite uh, they are quite full. Yeah. So now you see also other spots where uh, cargo bikes are parked wherever it's possible. Yeah. But it's, uh, for instance, many times you see some bikes here as well because right. it's, you know, it's, it, there's, there's spot, yeah. still enough space when you put a bike there to get this out and mm -hmm. so that, uh, and it's not, officially it's not allowed, but usually yeah. they accept it because they see that there are no other possibilities. Right. And then, then also you have here the guarded bike parking for the students that live okay. on top of the building. Oh, fantastic. So they have their own, uh, yeah, safe, safe bicycle right. uh, parking. We go out again. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, but I guess you have seen quite a bit of those already now. But anyway, it's... Uh, you can never see too much bike parking. <laughs> actually, this, this, whole, this whole area will be uh, reconstructed uh, the coming years. So, um, you know, when you come in two years or three years again, it will be completely different. Uh, and it's mainly that they are also on the other side of the, of the railroad. Mm -hmm. There is an entrance from, from that side, but right. it's, very, it's not, you know, it's not very fancy or anything. Right. And they, they will, you know, they kind of will build two head entries. Uh, so it will be... Uh, yeah, they'll, 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 be, they'll be changing a lot. Right, right. So we're on the ramp here to a very special uh, bridge. Talk about this. Well, yeah, this is the, the Snelbinder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a cycle path that is uh, hang on to, hang, do you say that like that way? Mm -hmm. It's constructed mm -hmm. next to the, the rail, uh, roll, yep. rail, railroad bridge. Right. And, uh, well, I think I should refer to uh, a very nice video of uh, Mark Wagenbuur, Bicycle yeah. Dutch. Yeah, yeah. He explains very well with, with all the uh, data on, on uh, how to be, but it's, it's, it's kind of a, uh, yeah, it's quite, quite an interesting uh, way of building a bridge in a, in a very practical and, I mean, it, it was a lot of money, but, but yeah. relatively uh, um, uh, doable because it is, it, is, it is constructed next to the railroad bridge. Right. And a very nice feature also is that, you know, there was a, here we passed through a building. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, you know, maybe some people would think it's not pos possible because there is a building. Right. But they decided to just cut right. through the building. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go through the building. And the other thing that was special about this, I think, is that ramp was very comfortable to ride up. And now we're at this elevated level above the street and the water. And it just, that was very comfortable getting up to this level. It's not too steep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, uh, well, you have some very stairs. Gradual, you yeah. have some stairs as well. Yep, yep. You but it's, uh, yep. Well, you know, there is a uh, there is a rule that uh, that that uh, the ramp should not be more than four uh, yep. percent, um, and and they keep uh, that, and uh, and this one is really comfortable, uh, really. So that now this is a big working river. What river is this? It's the river Waal. Okay. And uh, well, it's it's the main river, and there is a uh, what very special. What we will see now as well as we will visit the, the island, mm -hmm. Vuurland, it's called. Yeah. And they made a bypass because there is a kind of a bottleneck here in the because there is a uh, a curve in the river. Okay. And uh, so there the water when when it gets uh, we had floodings quite a bit, mm -hmm. and to prevent floodings, they built this uh, bypass. Uh, 
Uh, so with, with high level water, uh, part of the water will, will go through that bypass uh, and yeah. so it, uh, it keeps the water several centimeters lower so right. the, the flooding will be less. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and we see some houses out on the little island here. Yeah, yeah, that, those are the houses that were already there. Yep, yep. And of course, it was not an island before because right. before this was all, you know, there were, where you see the water now in the yeah. bypass, yeah, there yeah. were uh, houses and, and, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot of uh, greenhouses here. Yeah. Uh, Lent, the, yeah. the, the village of Lent where we're going now was known for its uh, 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 cultivation of flowers and, okay. and, uh, and, and vegetables and uh, so they had, a lot of things has changed. Yeah. And what's nice about it is, of course, is that, uh, oh well, maybe we should have, uh, we should have gone down the stairs. What, what we have now is that, um, because this part also, the, the, there's a high water, when it's high water, the, the island is really, you know, like one, one third or less of what you, what you see now. Right. And uh, so now we, now it has become a uh, recre recreational, area for the city as well right yeah yeah. and that's uh well i think that's, that's quite nice and when you have you have the old city right you have you have the new city yeah. and in between there is a very natural uh recreational part for you know people to enjoy yeah uh yeah, some green, uh, <laughs> some green around, yeah, which yeah. is very, uh, very yeah, important for us. As they say, green and blue. Yeah, the yeah, plants yeah. and the and water. Is, yeah. You know, it's like a park, but then a park with water, and uh, yeah, yeah. and that that's uh, it's very good. Got our little ramps here to be able to get our bikes down. Uh, you know this principle of these uh, brushes, so they make it, uh, you don't go too fast, yeah, they yeah. break a yeah, little bit, helps, a little bit. It helps put some friction. And on that side, there is a, they help you to lift, it moves. Wow. You know, and especially when you have, uh, when people come here with uh, a lot of stuff because they want to uh, picnic here or they have kids on the bike. Then it helps a lot that, uh, that they are stopped a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty brilliant. You know, I've got my heavy camera gear in the front bag, and so this is nice, just a little bit of friction. Brilliant. Go, Dougie, go. And sometimes there are, uh, you know, like with the with the the four days march that I said, there are all, all mm -hmm. kinds of festi festivities yeah. here in the city. Then this part is also a festival uh, area okay. with with really nice uh, theater and and bands and uh, all kinds of f things for kids to play. And yeah. and uh, it's uh, it, it really looks different then. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, and uh, lots of people, you know, lots of bikes and everything, and uh, it's really nice. I want to actually. I want to show you something over there okay. and something over there. Okay. Let's do that one first. And we see somebody brought their Ove feet down to the beach. Yeah, yeah, that we can do that. Yeah. yeah, it's very nice having uh, very close to the city the ability to get this green space in. And yeah, that's, a that's little very part. important to uh, to have it as well. Yeah. Well, actually, Nijmegen already is a, quite a. a you know, surrounded by green, the, the polder and the, 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 what we call the stew all the, the, there's, well, quite some, some woods over there. Yeah. And, uh, well, you know, it's, and it's, uh, it's, it's not such a big city. I mean, it's, it's growing now to 200,000 inhabitants. Okay. The coming five years, 10 years. Yeah. And, uh, We'll, we'll go to the mosque. Okay. It's a Roman mosque. It's, uh, it doesn't have to do much with uh, bicycle infrastructure, but uh, it's nice to see anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. Hello. <laughs> 
So this is a replica of a Roman mask that was found here in the area because yeah. Nijmegen was a Roman uh, a city already more than 2,000 years ago. Yeah. So they found a lot of stuff uh, around here. And actually not that much is really preserved, but uh, yeah, nowadays they are really uh, getting information about that uh, mm -hmm. quite a bit. Do we? And uh, this was uh, made by, uh, by a local uh, artist, uh, Andreas Hetfeld. Okay. And he built really nice uh, things, uh, all kinds of, uh, usually quite big, big yeah, yeah. statues. Yeah. And in the distance you can see where we just came. So that's the bridge that we were just on over there. Yeah, and the one with see. the bikes is the yeah. bridge we were on. Yeah. The next one is uh, the, the, it's called the Overstake. And then you can see the closer bridge that we just passed by, this gal is on her bike going. Yeah, yeah, and that's a very nice bridge as well because it has two levels for, right. uh, well, you can cycle up there, but you yeah. can also cycle and walk down there. And actually, I also I want to show you even another bridge, okay. which, which, uh, which is very nice. It's, uh, uh, but, but I'll tell you when we are there. When, when we are there, let's go. <laughs> You see, you can walk and cycle there. Oh yeah, very And then nice. where those holes are, you can go inside as well. And there are benches to sit down and, you know, and just watch over the river. Yeah. And access for residents here. Up, oh, so the guy's actually double checking with that Ove Feats to see if it was abandoned. <laughs> it kind of had that look of being abandoned. <laughs> There's the boathouse from the student. Ah, very good. Up. Yeah. And uh, the big bridge over there. You see the, these. Uh, uh, these bows like that, yeah. it's, it's also inspired by uh, old Roman bridges. Right, yeah. To, uh, to get at uh, the arches, yeah. The arches, yeah, exactly. The Romans helped perfect the arch. Yeah. And I think that that's also, you know, it's, it's, it's nice that they, they keep that in mind that, uh, that you have this his, historical. Uh, uh, connotation. Yeah. Well, we see here right in front in the in the bridge. There are uh, from the bridge are going stairs down as well. Mm -hmm. And well, for me, this is a it's it's like a smiling face. You know, so I don't know if you see that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I like the. Yeah, right there, kind of like a little smiling face. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> you see the two eyeballs there. Yeah. Nice smiling face. Yeah. Where you see the windmills? Yeah. There was a, uh, a energy plant, coal, a coal plant, and now it's uh, they they tore it all down because of uh, the CO2 uh, reduction. Yeah. And well, they put up uh, some windmills, and there is a large field of uh, solar panels as well. Okay. And they uh, also want to create other kinds of uh, sustainable energy things to show that uh, that other things are possible. Yeah. But, uh, this is also a bicycle bridge and a, a foot bridge. But what the funny thing is, is the uh, enlargement here. Mm -hmm. when, you when you look at the, yeah. at the left, you see those step stones. And uh, so when, when the water is very high, right. uh, this is all flooded. Ah, okay. um, or the part there is flooded, but yeah. then you can still pass over those stepping, stepping stones. stones right. And actually the water gets that high, but not. It, I don't think it ever gets higher that it goes over these stones. Yeah. So yeah. It's, uh, it's really the last bit that you can pass uh, through, uh, through this area. Yeah. You can ha hardly imagine that the water gets that high when you see it now, but it does. Yeah, yeah. This 
Another good look at it. When the water gets high. But I, but I also think it's, it's, it's simply funny that the architect thinks about these things and, right. and, and yeah. reacts. We'll pass through this, uh, up this bridge. And there's some of the rowers. Oh, you know, it's also um, nice to see that uh, even when there is not heavy traffic or anything, that they that they still have an eye for the nice, nice architecture, nice details, things like that. Yeah, it's, uh, like playful uh, elements. Right. Well, those playful elements make it enjoyable. You yeah. know, make it more enticing for people to to come and see it. Another low water crossing area. You can also see the signs of some cattle that uh, graze in this area. And those are cattle crossing guards that we see right here. There we go, I don't see any of the cattle at the moment, but we can see their droppings. And now we're on the other side of the boathouse that the students yep. use. So they'll check out their skulls, their canoes, and head out. And we see a resident coming in on the road here. Again, access to these houses right here. Friends of ours have very nice uh, here. This uh, they have a cooking study, studio. Mm -hmm. Studio. They do uh, and a very nice store with delic delicacies. Delic delicacies. Yeah. How do you say yeah. that? Delicacies. Uh, delicacies. Yeah. Delicacies. Delicacies. Yes. <laughs> That's a difficult. In other words, <laughs> good tasting food. Yeah. We go to the <laughs> left here. Yes. We go to the left. Yeah. You know, like not nice. French and Italian cheeses and wines and, and uh, very nice. We go straight. I'm thinking a little bit on how what we, we can go for a drink or uh, uh, maybe for lunch it's still a little bit early, but uh, yeah. Yeah. and otherwise we can also do some other uh, thing first and then go for lunch afterwards. What, yeah, what, whatever but I don't you'd know. like. Yeah, yeah, whatever you'd like. I'm, I'm flexible. If you see something that looks good and you say, oh, let's stop here. Well, I was thinking of uh, do, do having lunch at, uh, yeah. at this new center, uh, okay. what I want to show you. Because, yeah, yeah. But I've never been there, but I, it, looks, uh, it look, looks good. I think it's... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, let's play it by ear. So we're now on some nice, quiet residential streets here, just making our yeah. way through. You see all these uh, bird houses oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and also for uh, vats. Okay. And this neighborhood, you, you see it almost on every house. Yeah. They, they really made a point of it to have yeah. a preservation of birds and, uh, and bats. Birds and bats. Taking care of the bees, the birds yeah. and the bats and the bees. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of wildflowers on that path that we were on. So all sorts of good stuff for the birds and the bats and the bees. And Go to the left here. Okay. To the left again. And you can see we're intersecting with the major two-way cycle track again. Yeah, this is uh, 
Well, we, we have been here more or less uh, before, right? Mm -hmm. Do you recognize the station? Yep, yep, well, I and, do. Uh, I recognize it from uh, two years ago. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, what, what's funny now is that we will have a look over there. Mm -hmm. And I think you also remember probably the little green one. Yeah. And uh, well, they changed that quite a bit. Yeah. They call it the little yellow one now. Okay. <laughs> And that's because they, uh, they, they cut it. This is also a, uh, an example of a very practical solution on, you know, they had to, they had to cut there, they, have, they are building there. Right. And then this little green one was kind of uh, in the way. Right. So they, they figured out a, uh, a bypass or another another way to uh... so this will be a a temporary solution yeah I think so probably when when they're already there they'll uh, enlarge the bridge again yeah, yeah this and has the feel of a temporary solution yeah but what I like about it is that it you know it, it it's well it's well made I yes. mean, it's not just yeah. you yeah. know just put put some uh, oh, some yeah. old uh, Tiles down and uh, yeah, yep. And there is the connection to our little green bridge. Very good. That's the bypass because of the construction. All new housing going in here. We talked about this before in 2022. Well, actually, I've, I've never been at the, the, the information center. They, they were located here before. Okay. Uh, so we have to, we, uh, we have to find out. We have to. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go exploring. <laughs> we have to go exploring in the, new, in the new neighborhoods. I don't know if I told you yesterday, but this is an example, the Warmus uh -huh. uh, of, of uh, around 1900. This is how uh, a lot of uh, cultivation was done here. Right. So uh, uh, orchard and, 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 and vegetable gardens and, uh, and they are preserving uh, also old, old uh, all kind of, uh, of vegetables and things that uh, otherwise would be, uh, uh, well, disappear. Right. And we can see we've got more housing coming in here. Very cool look to them. Yeah, it's, it's really, you know, I'm, I, every time when I come here, I'm really surprised how, yeah. how things have changed and uh, they are building really fast. Hey, hi. Hey. <laughs> that guy is the, the, the manager of the, the center of Nijmegen for the for the entrepreneurs. Ah, very good. So, uh, <laughs> well, you know, just a detail. <laughs> and we're coming up on a little yeah, roundabout here. You'll go this way. Mm. Yep, 
It's fun being here this time of year with all the wildflowers. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, well, you know, some years ago, this would be, you know, like cut grassland. Right, mowed and down, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and now it's, they give it the, the possibility to grow yeah. wildflowers. Again, good for the birds and the bees. Good for the birds and the bees. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna film this play street here. Home street. And you see little home street here. And up ahead, you see the whole reason why we do installations like this. And we can see lots of new housing, yeah. I don't really see whether this is the right Uh, street, what it should be. Oh yeah, it's over there. Also notice the modal filters here, keeping cars out. Cars obviously approach this parking lot through this direction. All right, we're going to be meeting with uh, information about the development. Yeah, so I run a, a YouTube channel, uh, yes. Active Towns, and so I profile what cities are doing around the world to create places, communities like this, which encourage healthy, active, social living. Very, very pleasurable place to live. So, yes, and yes. I've been following this. Uh, uh, you first introduced this, this area to me in 2022, so two years ago. Yes. Yes. Yes, and yes. it's uh, very many years ago. Yes. It's 30 years ago when, it, uh, when it, uh, this is created. I uh, speak English a, a little, little okay. bit and yeah, yeah. created English. Your, 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 your English is way better than my Dutch, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the old city. Mm -hmm. In red. It's the old city. In red. In, In red. red. Yes. It's the old yes. city. That's the other side of the river. Right. Here's the river, a great mm -hmm. river, a very busy river. Mm -hmm. And then 30 years ago, uh, they must uh, make uh, many houses. Mm -hmm. And then they said, oh, do we this into the city or outside the city? Right. And it's on the other side of the river. Mm -hmm. They plant uh, 12,500 houses. Mm -hmm. This is the place mm -hmm. here. Um, what you here see mm -hmm. at, it, as, at this place is you see a uh, flag. Mm -hmm. Flat. Flat. Mm -hmm. That, that, and that. Yeah. That are places mm -hmm. where are building uh, houses. Okay. Um, yes, is 70% is ready. Okay. 30% we are expected. Oh, yeah, expected. expected. So yes. about 30% still also, yet to be expected. Yeah. Yeah. But when we are making so many, uh, many houses at the place, mm -hmm. the people want to have yes. places for sport. Right, yeah. And the other side of the way there yeah. is for sports. Right. People want uh, like uh, green. Right, green space. Green. That's right. for this place. Right. The top one, green, green. And they want to have shops. Mm -hmm. Okay, groceries. Yeah. Uh, that's here. That, that's, mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, started 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. The Winkle uh, City shopping, shopping oh, is uh, for past a half year. Mm -hmm. uh, here also all new houses building. Mm -hmm. And at that place are 2,000 houses, okay. but a very small place. Uh, in the Dutch, uh, we are many, many, many rain. Mm -hmm. Lots mm -hmm. of rain. Lots, Lots of rain. Of rain. Mm -hmm. And here is, uh, we, are, we are looking uh, at that all, and we are making mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Wadis. Mm -hmm. They're outside, you see that? Wadis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The rainwater is collected in the Wadi. Yes. Because it yeah. has to be collected somewhere of all the flooding. It has right. to be. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's all the green parts mm -hmm. in the areas is all Wadi. Yeah, yeah. And then it's collected there, infiltrated mm -hmm. in the uh, uh, lower grounds. Right. And then goes to the uh, singles. Mm -hmm. Don't know the English word for singles. Mm -hmm. And then into the. Uh, Created lakes. Right, right. Yeah. These are also for um, uh, re recreative uh, uh, purposes. So right, right. You can sit there or yeah. swim. Right. It's very clear water. Yeah. So it was very hot yeah. yesterday, so probably lots of people yeah, out there. Yes, yeah. beach. Yeah. Created beach. Yeah. We were there two yeah. years ago. Do you yes. remember? Yes. And then yes. we passed by the yeah. Pate. Uh, this right. is the yeah. cinema. Cinema. This is the, uh, the little cafe around the beach. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. In the history of Nijmegen, they had a lot of problems with, with the water mm -hmm. because the, it's a, a very uh, fast river and the uh, city of Nijmegen had lots of flooding. Mm -hmm. So they had to make room for the river and that's why they created a, a Nijmegen part of the river. This, it's created. If I buy a ferry. Mm -hmm. It's not, not, it's relatively new. Right. And this place is also used for recreation. Yeah. Yeah. Rowing, rowing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, build water canoe, mm -hmm. build wa uh, wild water mm -hmm. canoeing. Right, yeah. It's yeah. Uh, taking place here, and here are also beaches created for people to recreate uh, right. around uh, the river. Since this plan started, the, there's more control of the floods and all coming from Germany mm -hmm. into the country and that's really what's needed um, to make this room and now it turns out to be a very nice spot for leisure and uh, recreation and right yeah yeah so yeah. it's yeah. a kind of win-win situation yes yes very nice. Yes, we visited. We rode our bikes right here. Yeah, very it's nice. Nice, nice yes. to see. Yes, it's very nice, nice to yes. see. Yes. 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 See the little bridge with the step stones. There yeah. as well. This is very nice. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a fort. It's from the from the war, mm -hmm. eighteen years ago. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this this we're making it um, uh, net, and this is uh, still standing here mm -hmm. in this city of in the in the center. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a history yeah. that we will like that. Right. And it's also a very green area yeah. Yeah. with a lot of uh, rare species of birds and things like that. What I like to say is here mm -hmm. in the center mm -hmm. are a, a green area, a mm -hmm. park. Mm -hmm. when, you're looking, when you're looking at the old city here, mm -hmm. yes, when we, what's the spiegel build? Spiegelbeeld, vertel eens even. Mirror. Mirror, mirror view. Mirror view. Zo, there. Yeah. And you see here a park. Right. Cronenberg Park. Right, right. From Frank Boeien. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Make believe, yeah. yeah. And this is a park, and here also coming a park. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a mirror yeah. view. The mirror oh. image, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. we have this is the old bridge. Mm -hmm. When you're looking at uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Vierdaagse, Wondel uh, Mars, mm -hmm. you see it. It's mm -hmm. also the people coming here. Mm -hmm. This is the bridge uh, for the uh, slow, uh, for the bicycles mm -hmm. and uh, the, so, yeah, and the mm -hmm. walking. Mm -hmm. And for the train, yep. is here. And then there are so many houses here. Mm -hmm. They say they were going with the car uh, everywhere. It so was going here and there, mm -hmm. and not that all the people standing uh, still. Mm -hmm. Dus they have built a new bridge. Mm -hmm. It's the Oversteek. Mm -hmm. And die is nu 15 jaar of 15 jaar? 2013. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Um, that's yeah. That's a very uh, busy bridge, but mm -hmm. yeah, it, they need it here. What's there? Uh, a nice uh, story. 
the war, I said so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here are... Uh, light walls. I see a lot sorry, light walls. When and at the evening when the sun lay down, mm -hmm. then there's here a, a, a group of military, mm -hmm. veteran mili military, mm -hmm. and they're going here the bridge, and on every walk they make, mm -hmm. then are going the lights on. Ah. And again, came to the other side of the bridge, mm -hmm. and here is a uh, monument, mm -hmm. and they, co they come and they are, they are all together. Every evening, every day, mm -hmm. do they that. Oh, wow. Every day are people walking. It can be two mm -hmm. uh, with uh, summer and it's nice weather are more people, mm -hmm. uh, 20, 50. And sometimes military make their a march van, uh, a short mm -hmm. march. Mm -hmm. And that they come together. Or 100 or 150 people are walking about that. Wow. Yeah. The bridge is a, a kind of monument for the people who crossed the river. Right. In the bridge to far I seen you right, know uh, yeah. about it. Uh, they crossed it with a boat, and on that, maybe on that spot, mm -hmm. somewhere around that spot, and all the people who died there are remembered by light. Right. So when the sun uh, sets, uh, the lights go on one mm -hmm. by one, one by to one remember one. those uh, men. From yeah. 40, Forty-eight uh, yeah. soldiers died by yeah. crossing the river. Right. So there are four, 48, uh, 48 lights. light poles. Yeah, light poles. Yeah. So the bridge itself is also kind of important. Right. It's a great history here. This, this is a thing yeah. that's standing yeah. every day. Yeah. And that's where I have uh, our liberty. Right, yes. Very important. So what are the, um, um, like in, in the Hof van Holland, mm -hmm. what are specific uh, cycling facilities? Mm -hmm. Where do they, how do they provide the, the cycling parking, for instance, for the people that live there? Oh, are that's there, are mm -hmm. there, are there, I, I think there are like central bike parking mm -hmm. facilities. Um, this this place, mm -hmm. this place, mm -hmm. this is a place, this is a really a city. Mm -hmm. um, it's a auto, uh, a car, low, 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 mm -hmm. low place. Mm -hmm. um, only the cars, the car when you uh, leave there, then you can can came in with the car. Right. Other people can park in a parking garage here, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's also the thing that you come with the bicycle. Right. And this place are 750 bicycle places to mm -hmm. st to stall. Right. Very nice. So the bicycle is very much integrated into the design. Keeping auto low, you know, low volumes, low speed. Yeah, well, very nice. The, yes. You find bicycle park everywhere mm -hmm. in, the, yeah. in the neighborhoods. There's also a kind of fast bicycle park to the extent to the bridge right. to get to the city. Yes. The shortest way. Right. Especially for yeah, you can walk there, but especially right. for bicycles. Yeah, yeah. The, and here you everywhere uh, see yeah, just right up there. Yeah. bicycles, yeah. many, many. The, here the people are living at the bicycle. Yeah, yes. Yeah, when, when they go into the old city, mm -hmm. everything, when people here come living, when the people first living here and that was, was in planning, mm -hmm, was in mm -hmm, planning, mm -hmm. the people here say, oh no, 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 I don't like to live there. No, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. We don't. The yeah. first, no, but yeah, the first yeah. houses they came yeah. and the people here are living and yeah. they say, oh, it's green and we have the place yeah. and 10 minutes and more in, we are in the city yeah. or yeah. Uh, by the hospital, everywhere we're coming and we all can do it with the bicycle. Right, yeah. You see a lot of cargo bikes also. Yeah, right. you can put okay children and, and okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. shopping in cargo bikes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but also the, the mail delivery. Yeah, mail yeah. delivery. Uh, okay. yes. yeah, cargo bikes. Uh, yeah. It, like that. that just makes yeah. sense, yeah. Music to our ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And here's a new place. Mm -hmm. uh, a month ago, uh, it started. Mm -hmm. A very nice place for the children for to play. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Right. And here also a mm -hmm. very nice place for children to play. Uh, to, right. to, to play. Right. Yeah. Here is a very great park. Mm -hmm. And that park that's green, they are uh, finding um, uh, 
archaeologische. Mm -hmm. Archaeological yes. mm -hmm. And then when, when we find that, mm -hmm. then we may not building at this mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. Dus that must be green. And they have said, oh, the may, uh, no, then we're making a, a, a place for the children. Right. En wat ook nou nog meer zeggen? Ja, yeah, also for play soccer and mm -hmm. for uh, yeah, workouts, mm -hmm. yeah. boot camping, yeah. things like that. In total, how many people will be able to live here? One fifth of Nijmegen, mm -hmm. and uh, we said also 12,500 uh, houses. Fantastic. 40,000, 45,000 people are coming. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. I love it. Yeah. And, and as you mentioned before, very easy to get to the historic core of the city. Nice. Homage, nice, yeah. you know, to to the old city with this mirror yeah. image on this side. The old and the I new love city. It. The old and the new. Yeah. I love it. It's yeah. fantastic. But also, you find a lot of old over here because yes. we've got this uh, Romans. You got the Roman, <laughs> yeah. You got the like the Romans said, lying here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the history from and the the, uh, the fort, uh, yeah. World War. Yeah, yeah. So it's the old and the new. Yes. Yeah. And very, you know, very, very comfortable. Uh, you mentioned it earlier. The children are able to, uh, to get about. Very nice. I love it. Yeah. When can yeah. I move in? Sorry. When yeah. Can I, when can I move in? Oh. <laughs> Where would you like to live? Yeah. <laughs> would you like to live in an apartment building oh. or in a solid house? Uh, yes. Ground? Yes. You the lots, lots of choices here. Yeah. 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 And that's that's one of the things that I love about the design is. There's lots of choices, different types of housing, yes. and uh, and you can be really, really close to the shops and the restaurants, or you can be just a little further away. You can be close to some green space and some agriculture. Uh, I'm myself close to the here. water. <laughs> yes, I do live here now. Yes, yes. And this is so yeah. green and yeah. friendly for children. They play in the yeah. park. They're riding their bikes in the park. I mean, yeah. Lots of freedom for the children. Okay, folks, that concludes part one of my ride with Jos Sluishmans uh, there in Nijmegen. A uh, special thanks to the uh, folks there at the Information Center for this wonderful new community that is being built on the other side of the river. Uh, the Wallsprung Information Center, you, you two were absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for taking time out from your day to uh, show us around. It is an absolutely beautiful community uh, and really intentionally designed uh, to be people oriented and really uh, embrace the concept of active mobility. And in part two, Yos and I are going to be exploring a little bit more of the community. We're going to head over, get some lunch and head back out onto the cycle paths. So, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, hi, please hit that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. And if you are enjoying this content here on the Active Towns channel, please consider supporting my efforts. Uh, it's easy to do. Just head on over to activetowns.org and click on that support button. Every little bit helps and is very much appreciated. Well, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm.